bring you greetings from the United States of America, and uh, good afternoon to all of you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen and honorable dignitaries, colleagues, on behalf of the Church of God International, with special condolences expressed by the chairman of the board of directors, Mr. Vance Stinson, in conjunction with the ministerial council of which I represent the chairmanship of, we would like to extend our deepest condolences to all of you and especially the family and the island-wide membership of the Church of God International. You have our deepest and warmest and sincerest condolences. You know, we're all saddened a bit by all of this, needless to say. We have been sharing in the loss of a very dynamic individual, and much of what we've heard has really shown that very much in many, many details from many, many angles. He was an accomplished journalist, published author, television personality. He even, to me, admitted he's a brand. He liked to say that occasionally from the standpoint of his accomplishments. Ian Boyne, a brand unto himself, and especially here has been expressed by so many of you here in the uh, presentations. But most importantly to him, as was mentioned, is his family, his pastorate, his gift to evangelize, as well as his teaching responsibilities to so many of the people of which God has been calling to his church over the years. Unquestionably, without a doubt, he's going to be missed by a lot of us, a variety of us here on the island and, as mentioned, throughout the world. It's been said about him that he made you feel like you were his best friend. Heard that throughout, uh, in some cases, our tribute at the church, that he made you feel like you were his best friend. And perhaps that's what made him such an extraordinary interviewer or interrogator, depending on which program you were on. <laughs> But it was very, very, he was very gifted in that area and was certainly one who could, in many ways, be able to bring out, in some cases, uh, information with people that he counseled with in, in different ways that oftentimes resulted in clarity of the situation that they may be struggling with or burdened by. He was a very good counselor, and that gift that he had was indeed something that he was very gifted in. But Pastor Boyne now rests, he does rest from a full life of accomplishments, well deserved from many of his labors that he has shared with many of you in the accomplishments that he has achieved. And obviously by the size of this crowd, he's touched the hearts of many of you here throughout the course of his life. But I want to mention something, and it would be remiss of me not to share this with you, that Pastor Boyne is okay. He's doing fine. And he's waiting to resume his life again with his Savior, of which he worshiped so much throughout the course of his life. And I can confidently tell you, and I can assure you of this, knowing, of course, what he believed, because I shared in his beliefs that he will live again, without a doubt. But this time, as a king and a priest, helping Jesus Christ reestablish the government of God on this earth, eliminating war, poverty, and pain. And he will. He was preparing for that and prepared many of you for that very event. I've known Pastor Boyne since 1989, known him a long time as well, worked very closely with him since about the year 2000 or so. Had many discussions with him, as many of you had, heard him speak often in opportunities that I have been in his audience, and also had the privilege to share his faith, which right now simply, the reality of it is, He's finished the course for the time being and now is assured of his reward of eternal life. 
as Jesus Christ promised it. You see, your Bible says that to everything there is a reason and purpose under heaven. Many of you have heard this scripture. There's time to plant, a time to pluck, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, as we saw up here. There's also a time to live, and as we understand, a time to indeed die. Ian Boyne knew this as well, as he also knew that the living know that they will die. The dead know nothing. So said Solomon in his book of Ecclesiastes. Even Jesus Christ, furthermore, characterized death as simply sleep. The story of Lazarus illustrates this very much, a sleep for a determined time, a duration, a duration of rest by the event, determined by the event of his return to earth, which will result in the resurrection of Pastor Boyne. Jesus said, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Don't be surprised at this, Jesus said, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice and shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto damnation. So said the Apostle John in his fifth chapter of his gospel. It's a tribute to Pastor Boyne that he died fully believing this promise made by Jesus Christ. And now he waits to hear his name called, awakening him from this rest that he is now sealed in. Because that's what he is. He's sealed in a rest. And so he waits for his reward, leaving a legacy, as we've heard, a legacy of life that God blessed and multiplied through his efforts and those he worked through throughout his life. To God's glory, Ian's life stands as a beacon and a testament of what God can do by using imperfect mortal human beings to implement his will by God's Holy Spirit. Oh yeah, that's right. Ian wasn't perfect, but then neither are we. Right? It's by the grace and mercy and forgiveness of God that we are able to obtain eternal life, which was made possible by the atoning death and shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. May God grant all of us the wisdom Pastor Boyne exhibited by accepting Jesus Christ as his Savior, as he did, so that we too may be awakened when Christ comes back and calls our name from the grave. May God grant us that wisdom. For now, Pastor Boyne, husband, father, executive, web veteran journalist and television personality, rests in peace, rests in peace. But only until, only until Jesus Christ returns to reestablish the kingdom of God on this planet. He is on a countdown from heaven waiting for the Father to give him a green light. And when that happens, brethren, friends, colleagues, most honorable dignitaries, he will hear his voice. Because you see, Pastor Boyne is indeed sealed. God speed that day. And glory be to God for the promises that he's offering to each and every one of us. Each and every one of us. So rest in peace, Ian. Rest in peace, for you are sealed unto a resurrection.